I'm Scott Allen Miller. It is the 6th of September 2022 and this is my vlog of daily life in Nicaragua. It is Tuesday. I'm actually recording this in the rain. I don't know if you can see the rain coming down but we're in one of those. Like there's like a light sprinkle but a lot of sunlight so it looks kind of interesting but I'm hoping to get this video done in between I think that's the ice cream guy uh in between uh downpours because every so often i look out and it's pouring rain and i've been trying to get out for hours to do this video so today is an interesting day as you can tell from the title i woke up this morning and it was a normal tuesday my stomach hurt just a little bit but it was like sore it wasn't like it wasn't like bad or anything so i wasn't really thinking anything of it and i took the dogs out for a walk in the morning and everything was fine um and i should note we have a new house whew, <laughs> ground slippery because it's been raining um i have a new housekeeper uh that now works for us six days a week eight hours a day so we always have someone uh with the with the kids and the dog so in theory it's gonna make our lives a lot easier uh so We'll see how that works, but so far, so good. And today is her second day. But, so I walk the dogs this morning because she comes at 10, so I do the morning stuff. And then, wow, the ground is slippery, my gosh. Uh, and then, um, while I was on calls this morning, uh, someone came to the, doctors came to the door and Paul talked to them and they were the, uh, the COVID and dengue inspectors. They're going around inspecting everywhere for dengue, asking if people are sick because there's so much dengue going around that like just everybody has it. We know so many people who have it. Uh, it's been a major pandemic in the city. Uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but <laughs> uh, so they were going around doing checks for that this morning and no, no, none of us had any symptoms. We didn't have to worry about it. Then you see this gorgeous sky behind me. This is this is really a nice time to go for a walk as long as you don't mind getting a little bit wet and hopefully the GoPro won't be a problem. It's not raining hard enough that I'm worried about it in the case, but we'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing goes wrong. This is like next week, we're expecting the announcement from GoPro of the GoPro Hero 11. This is the nine that I'm using. The 10 has some really cool features uh, that I really wish I had. This, the one that no one talks about that I really am looking forward to is the hydrophobic uh, lens that you can just water just runs right off. Like how cool is that? Um, it has some cool other features like faster processor, better sensor, but overall it doesn't have a lot of image quality advantages over the nine and nothing that I do does it really do better per se. It does have a higher resolution sensor and can do a little bit better image stabilization, which would be nice, but I'm not sure it would be noticeably nice, but the hydrophobic uh, uh, lens would be something we would notice. So I, I am looking forward to uh, moving up to something with that and very much looking forward to just see all the new features that are coming on the 11 because all the things that came on the 10 obviously will update as well. So uh, about an hour after the doctors left and we said no one had any symptoms, I suddenly got quite sick and came down with every symptom of dengue. Now, Paul is convinced that what I actually did was drink soap uh, in, some, in my morning coffee and have uh, soap poisoning or whatever that is, soap irritation that makes you sick. Um, but it is awfully coincidental that everybody has dengue and I had exactly all the symptoms of dengue at a time when it's expected that you would get dengue. Like, come on. And uh, not only was it every, every symptom, but two weeks ago exactly from today, uh, you'll notice if you watch my old videos, two weeks ago today is when they first uh, fumigated our house. One week ago is when they fumigated it again. And it takes two weeks uh, for the gestation of dengue if you get stung. Right after they fumigated the first time, I went and talked to Luchana and said, uh, they stirred up the mosquitoes and I just got bit and it burned when it bit me. I've not had that happen before. And it was clearly a different type of mosquito than I'm used to. I'm pretty sure that was a dengue mosquito. I think I was just bit. I think I was just exposed. So keep note, if in two weeks uh, I, I am sick, this is likely what it is. So today is two weeks from when that happened. Hola, buenas tardes. Today is two weeks from when that happened. As I predicted, I am sick today. So the fact that I had made an effort to note to her that in two weeks I was likely to be sick, and in two weeks I am sick, really strongly points to the fact that this is dengue. Then I have like every symptom of, of low uh, grade, uh, mild dengue, which is really not too bad, right? Most people who are exposed get no symptoms, a large number who get it get mild symptoms, and a small number get severe symptoms, which can be quite bad and, and can be deadly. 
uh, there is no treatment for it. Now, of course, I'm recording this in the future. I'm recording this on Wednesday. I have recovered, so you know that I'm okay. Um, so you don't need to worry about any of that. Uh, but uh, so about nine o'clock, I was really hit by it and was like, wow, I feel awful. Uh, and ended up being sick a number of times. Uh, started taking my temperature, um, did have a fever, uh, did have a mild rash, uh, small headache, eye fatigue, definitely had the joint pain, um, pretty much every symptom by the book. And there's nothing you can do for dengue. There's no treatment, there's no medicine. You can't go to a doctor and have them do anything. Uh, if you go to the CDC website, right, they tell you lots of fluids, lots of rest, and oddly, even before getting lots of fluids, they tell you to take acetaminophen and they warn you not to take ibuprofen and aspirin. Of course, it's a fever, so you don't take those things. Uh, but everyone you talk to here is just like, oh, you gotta take something, ibuprofen. And you're like, you can't do that. It's a fever, that's dangerous. But the fact that, so acetaminophen, does not make you better at all. In fact, it keeps you from getting better. Um, I have talked to doctors about this and have been told the obvious truth, which is acetaminophen is a painkiller. Your body has to work to get the painkiller out of your system. It is essentially a low-grade toxin and in no way does it improve your health. It just makes you feel a little bit better, but your body has to not fix the virus, not make itself healthy as much because it has to get the acetaminophen out of your system. It increases your risk, but it makes you feel just a tiny bit better in theory. Now for me, acetaminophen makes me feel like crap. So it, that doesn't, that theory doesn't hold up that it, that it pretends anything for me. It would actually make me feel worse. But I've, I've talked to doctors about this and they're like, yeah, the, the people are so used to and so much in demand of getting medicine for everything that it's just become accepted that you have to provide a medicine and everything is based around that you are going to do this no matter what and if you don't give a painkiller people will not listen to you and so uh even when you say i won't take a painkiller they won't listen to you they'll say nope nope you have to and the cdc puts it above the actual care now are they doing that because people won't listen are they doing that because tylenol is is recommending to the cdc that this is what they do i don't know but it is not good health care right it is not a doctor meeting their obligations as a doctor telling you to take acetaminophen, but they all do it, right? It is unhealthy. It does not help you get better. And it should be, well, if you feel you need a painkiller, acetaminophen is the one you can take, but painkillers aren't part of your cure, right? <laughs> Instead of being like, no, 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 you have to take this because it skews all the numbers then, right? So if you don't take a painkiller, you can get healthy faster than they r believe that you can. And I learned this when I did my, my wisdom teeth out. I went back in a week for a checkup and was all healed. And my doctor's like, I've never seen anyone heal this fast. And I said, well, I did two things. One, I didn't stop using my jaw. He's like, yep, that's good to avoid dry sockets. And I said, and I didn't take the acetaminophen that you pushed so hard on me. And he's like, oh yeah, he's the doctor who's like, because I, I said, I will not take it. And he refused. He wrote me a prescription, demanded that I take it. And I just ignored him. And then when I didn't take it and got better quickly, he's like, yeah, of course it's bad for you, but we have to do that. We have to give you bad advice because just no one will listen if we don't. And so he's like, yeah, you, you, it makes sense that you healed faster than we expect anyone to heal because you didn't do that. All of the numbers for healing are based on people taking drugs that keep them from getting better sooner. So the, the normal time frame for dengue is two to seven days. And so that I'm not taking the acetaminophen that absolutely everyone takes means there's every possibility that one to four days is what it's going to be. Now, technically I had some of the symptoms for the last couple days, so we could argue that it seems like I've, I've actually had it for a, a couple days uh, and only really, really sick today. Um, and it definitely lasted more than 24 hours. So, uh, you know, it, we would call that two days. So if it was a mild case and it only took two days and without the acetaminophen, it was a little bit less than two days. Uh, when is Darthes? Everybody's gonna be on the show. <laughs> and uh, so it makes sense. So the time frame actually lines up. People say, no, it lasts longer than, yes, it lasts longer if you take acetaminophen. That's what the guidance is based on. So it lasted the amount of time. So throughout the day, so I started the day working a little bit and then just couldn't handle it. Uh, ended up um, 
being sick and by about one o'clock uh, just going to bed uh, and and that really helped the dogs just snuggled with me and spent the afternoon camped out in the room and then in the evening Liesel came in we put on some Netflix and watched Friends and Seinfeld and really she watched and I listened as I laid in bed with the dogs and uh, for the most part that worked pretty well I felt pretty much like crap all day uh, but by mid-afternoon it was not horrible the morning like from about 10 o'clock to about 2 o'clock was really really awful and then from about 2 o'clock to about 7 o'clock uh, was a marked improvement um, I didn't have the incredible stomach pain anymore but my fever got worse my fever was low in the morning when my stomach was bothering me and then by afternoon when my stomach was better my fever hit around 100 um, a little bit over uh, but so i have a natural body temperature of 97.7 so a 100 for me is about a 100.5 100.6 for normal people uh, for average people um, so that's that it's a higher number than it sounds like uh, but well within a, a very very low grade fever and uh and that was that was pretty much my day the entire day just recuperating from dengue spent the whole day in bed um, but that's the answer right tons of water i had a liter bottle of water that i kept and at first i couldn't drink anything you had no way to keep it down uh, but that that only lasted a couple hours as soon as i was able to drink water and started keeping it down that was fine and was really doing not too badly pretty quickly once i was rehydrated more or less you could tell that i was recovering uh and it wasn't wasn't going to be a terrible thing so that's uh pretty much my day that was the whole thing nothing else happened i mean maybe things happened i don't know what they are i basically saw nobody talked to nobody did nothing um and spent the entire day which was actually kind of cool i got a ton of rest um and could not eat all day so it was a great diet plan i'm sure i lost three pounds throughout the day and uh, hung out a lot with the dogs. It was nice after a weekend of not having the dogs uh, with me because I was in Madagalpa traveling uh, to be home and spend the entire time uh, with my dogs. Uh, so they, they enjoyed that as well. That was my day. So it's a big thing here. You do have to be very careful or be aware uh, that things like dengue are a risk. It, we have different health issues here than in other places. Dengue is extremely prevalent and right now it's going around but as a lot of people have said, it sounds really scary. People worry about it a lot. By the way, they're working on the road here. This is how the pavers go in. I'm gonna turn this around. Hola. This is a road repair going on, which is pretty cool how they're able to do this uh, because it doesn't require the big equipment and crews that a blacktop style road requires. And so this is um, very, very efficient for a heavy human labor uh, market uh, and and they're able to do in-place repairs all over the place uh, very easily so it's a very effective system and I like how easy they are to drive on uh, they tend to give really good traction and they hold up really well uh, and you're able to repair without new materials in a lot of cases you just pull up the pavers put down some sand and uh, are able to replace them uh, and then they last for just decades and decades so it's a very good use of materials uh, but so anyway so you know people are often like oh my gosh it's so scary with with all these diseases and stuff and it's really not yes dengue can be bad but it's normally not um, you know you're gonna get sick no matter what anywhere like things go around and we live in the era of uh, of COVID and everything and people are always afraid of it and at least you know being in a place like this I have access to good health care if it's if it's needed there's nothing anyone can do for dengue like you just have to you know get your fluids and, and get your rest and hope for the best uh, for the most part but that's that's pretty much the answer there's no reason to be really afraid of these things take you know good precautions try not to get bit by mosquitoes don't do stupid things um but and and dengue is not contagious which is handy you don't have to avoid people or anything like that um but uh yeah it is what it is and uh makes for an interesting day uh the other option is that i just had soap and all the symptoms just happened to be exactly dengue and i just happened to get it at exactly two weeks after i was pretty sure i was exposed uh while there's a dengue pandemic going around the city it's fine that's possible but uh given just how specific it was and that we had guessed that this is when it was going to happen i think it's safe to assume and when i mentioned it people i know are like oh yeah everyone in my family has dengue right now our neighbors have dengue 
uh, it's just it's just everywhere. You can't avoid it. So that was my day. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. Put your questions below. Everything is good now. Feeling great on Wednesday and ready to make more videos. Working hard to get caught up. For those who have been watching, uh, you know that I try to respond all the time. And uh, with being in Madagalpa, I got behind a little bit on responding to people and then being sick today. I didn't get to catch up like I was expecting. So. Uh, it's as if I've been disappeared for a few days and one of my regular viewers actually came to the house today to find me and found me uh, in a nearly dead state. Our housekeeper woke me up and is like, you have to come to the door. And I'm like, what? And I came out to the door and I like couldn't see. I had no idea what was going on. I was right on the verge of throwing up. Uh, so sorry, Frank, but uh, hopefully you will have found me again by the time you see this uh, and we'll have made connections and been able to go get some coffee or something. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see all of you tomorrow.